got ten oh. fingers! <laughs> Everybody, it's Tai Chi thing, and the uh, vlog apparently has ten fingers. I got ten. <laughs> Can't see him, but I'm waving him in front of the mic like it's some sort of camera. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Friend. Noah. Oh. Is that okay? She's gonna go bang Noah. Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Hmm. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Huh. Of course. And call me if you need hmm. anything. Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I will never do that. Hmm. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh... My plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... Oh, good. Here we go. See how long I can sleep I'm gonna for. see how long I can... <laughs> Kiddo, I am tapped out. Hmm? But the sun hasn't even gone down yet. It's yeah, dark outside. It has. Somebody didn't think before they drew things. <laughs> I still have sleep to catch up on from when you were a baby. Just let me be. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? <laughs> Great. See you later. Finger I watch gun. Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's baking a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. The fuck? <laughs> I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, just like making baked Alaska's all day instead of any food with real nutrition of real nutritional substance. Mm -hmm. Man, Gavin Chapman just thought that thing on just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional! I lose track. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure where that one, what that was. Uh, that one was whatever uh -huh. about. <laughs> it was now just you know how I feel. It's just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than to text the drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again. And then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay. See, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who she was even with? Why do I, don't I know any of her friend's phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friend's full names? Who is Emma P? I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know if you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. I need okay. water. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Ugh. Ugh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, oops, guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda, Anne. Mm. Well, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Huh? Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go to out, go out of off to school, are you? God dang it. <sighs> I was scared. You weren't responding and it was just... It was just like when your mom... I have to stop myself from tearing up. Whoa! Oh, Dad, I didn't mean to. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. 
You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Uh, uh. Da, da, da. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As if I'm falling as I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace Aww. offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. Aww. I thought about what you said last night. Hmm. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about Aww. it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well. You're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. Hmm? Team Smith? Team Smith. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them? Already did. Yes. Bless you. I said that as if he sneezed and I... <laughs> Bless you! I chew. <laughs> Amanda scars down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? Ugh. It's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm? What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Please let me put together a dad book profile. That'd be really funny. All right. I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. <sighs> All right, Pops, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's make some- let's get some likes and dislikes. Sweet. Uh, you might get to- uh-oh. On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Oh my god. <laughs> it's a horrible thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's between torment my children with dad puns or Netflix and grill, baby. <laughs> well, it's whatever cheesy thing you decide on. <laughs> Torment my children. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? Achoo! 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 Good bleak you! Thank you. What would it be? Anyway. <laughs> no. A boat, obviously. Really? <laughs> Strong dad arms. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> yep. Good times. Is this a dating site or a social media platform? It's both. You're gonna date some dads. It, it's dream daddy. You gotta pick some. You pick street smarts. <laughs> sure. What I did you want to be when you grew up? Salty boat captain. <laughs> <laughs> a pro skater who is also an astronaut. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> These are all things that I said I wanted to be, except for the technical writer for manuals and instructionals. What's your favorite movie genre? Sean Connery's entire filmography. <laughs> I'll go with that. What's your ideal date? I'm trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. Hmm. <laughs> Arson. Wow. Is, Should I put arson? I don't think so. Not unless you want goth dad or whatever. I don't think that would or be goth, goth dad. dad's son. <laughs> Snap together. What do you what do you never leave home without? Sick vape. Oh boy. <laughs> My cripplingly low self-esteem. <laughs> mm. mm. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. I spend a lot of time thinking about My cripplingly low self-esteem. Lawnmower modifications. How proud I am of my child. Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot of grill things going on I'm in guessing here. I'm that's, um, Christian dad or... Yeah. 
put youth past your dad or whatever. I'm guessing how proud I am of my child is Brian. I don't know what conspiracy theories would be. I don't know. What would you pick? Oh, oh good. No. You're gonna you're gonna get goth dad. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's all profiles. Right. You should message one of them or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad. As I Whatever. lick your face, apparently. <laughs> Welcome. You've got. Them. Oh, now you get to click on I've people. Got, what? You get to click on people. No, it said I got something. Oh. Good. They're all making noises, so she's spinning in a circle. <laughs> Crank can. Dad of three, business operator. Did you have a message, or did you get a message from someone? I thought I did, but I don't know. I don't know how to check. What did you want to be, beer pong champion of the world when he was a kid? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. I, no. So you chose to you, see. You're not. You're up uh, now. Now you, you picked, can message more than one. You picked him. You picked him though. Well, I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dig dad book page and type out a message. Hey, bro. Or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple minutes pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend-long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment. This could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more message in it, messages, and he logs off to prep for the game. The game. What? I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Wait, didn't she just go to school? I think something weird happened. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know, knock on the door. Yo, oh, Manda Panda. She's at school. <laughs> I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by She looks like she's stoned out of her and head. newspaper clippings. Well, she's her father's daughter. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she's been crying, Ash. Yeah, uh oh Hey, are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed off in movies to elicit emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the respect that they deserve. Yep, okay. that's some thoughts. It's not right. Uh-huh. Why are you lying to me? Huh. I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. All right. I don't believe her, but I'll let her go. Let it go for now. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Huh. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Uh. Wait, what? Yep. When did we? No, he's preparing for the game. You don't remember? <sighs> it said the game. Remember okay. that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off to the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yes. <sighs> I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. That makes so sense. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Yeah. Finally ready to face my he fears dead on. Let's do this. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're gonna pause here. While we're driving out to the baseball game. It's softball game. Whatever. Uh, softball game! Alright, um, bye everybody. Bye!